Now, let's have a basic uh, introduction to the world of credibility theory, which is a very widely used technique for determining the premiums or for uh, typically associating uh, or uh, estimating the frequencies of claims in general insurance business. This is very widely used. So what is this uh, credibility theory all about? The word itself is saying how much of credibility you give to your own risk data and how much of trust you have on the data that is collected from external sources. So basically uh, it is more about uh, how much you believe how much you trust your own internally collected risk data and uh, how do you uh, use that proportion or a weighted average that you are giving to your risk data versus the data collected from the external sources that is what is the credibility theory all about i am taking a weighted average some portion of the weightage given to my own risk data uh, and some portion that is collected from the external sources. And uh, some of the important concepts that come up here. A lot of calculations in this uh, establishing the credibility theory, they run around a few manipulations of the conditional expectations. So probably if I am looking at uh, finding out the expected value of x, I can very well say that it is the same as expected value of expected value of uh, x given y. Similarly, when I am looking of expected value of f of y given y, it is nothing but it is f of y. Then if I talk about uh, the expected value of x f of y, probably take it this way expected value of expected value of x f of y given y and this in turn will become expected value of f of y times the expected value of x given y now all these things are the different kinds of uh, manipulations that can be done on the expected values and at the same time, we also bring in a concept called conditional interdependence. We will talk about two variables. Independently, individually, they may not be independent, which means the expected value of x1, x2 need not be equal to expected value of x1 times expected value of x2. They may not be independent and in all cases, but given another event y, they may become independent. Given another event y, they may become independent. This is where we call x1 and x2 as conditionally independent. So both x1 and x2 are depending on y. But if the value of y is known, then x1 and x2 are independent. That is what we call as conditional independent. And what we are saying is all these fundamentals are used as a part of understanding our credibility theory much, much in an effective manner. Now, let's go further to try to understand this concept of credibility. See, let's say for computing the premium, right? Let's say I want to use it for computing the premium or I want to use it for uh, uh, assessing the claim frequency, whatever it is. Now, here I'm taking two sets of data. One, my own risk, right? The risk data of my own company versus the risk data that I have collected for a similar, similar risk. See, this is more of exactly the same. 
whereas this is more of a similar either in my organization uh, uh, but uh, or it could be uh, from the industry based uh, outside external sources whatever it is now how much weightage i give to this data and to this data to finally arrive at the computation of the premium for the policies which i am introducing that is what is the credibility approach so let's say i am talking about a credibility factor z which means i'm if i am giving a z weightage to the premiums that i am computing through my own data set versus 1 minus z weightage i give to the premiums that are uh, coming from the industry based data these two put together is what is the input for the computation of the premium which i would like to go ahead right so here this is where i say if i am using x bar as an estimate of whatever claims frequency which is purely based on the risk based data my own data set whereas if i say another mu that's an estimate of whatever the number you are calling whether it is a premium or claims or whatever it is this is purely based on the collateral data collateral is something similar to your risk but is exactly not the same not necessarily identical to the risk which you are looking at then the credibility based computation we are simply saying it is z times x bar plus 1 minus z times the mu and obviously z will lie between 0 and 1 typically called as your credibility factor and uh, you can very comfortably explain this concept even to a layman because uh, uh, x bar is representing uh, your own data mu is representing the external data and the more and more uh, experience you are in the business this z will be much much highly weighted the more and more you are new into the business probably you would rely more and more on external or collateral that's a better word that is used here because here we are referring to a risk which is uh, similar to but not like, not necessarily exactly the same so there is a weightage that is going to the collateral data more now let's say when you are introducing a new business a new line of business obviously your internal data could be much much lesser so you would try to rely more and more on similar kind of a data uh, which means the credibility factor z will be much lower in that case you will give more weightage to the collateral data rather than your own internal data or you are getting into some kind of unusual risk right not a routine where the data is very very meager then you want to try to look at the data which is more and more similar to this even in that case your credibility factor could be much lesser so finally to understand the credibility factor it's nothing but a weight which we which lies between 0 and 1 and it's a clear reflection of how much of importance right if i try to look at it how much of importance i am giving to the data from the risk only exactly from the past experiences of the data of that particular risk rather than relying more on mu which is a more similar kind but not exactly identical so how much of weightage that i am giving to the collateral kind of a data for doing the estimation for the next year's value so if i am putting z higher means more and more trust i am putting on my uh, x bar compared to mu and vice versa right so it all depends on how much data is available with us versus how much of data is available within the collateral now all these will determine whether z should be higher or lower now for the risk itself right for the risk which i am considering if the data is more and more heavily available 
Now Z should be much higher. But if the collateral data, which is the data of similar kind of risk, is more and more reliable, then more weightage will go to 1 minus Z, which means the Z, the credibility factor which we are putting to our own data, risk-based data, is much lesser. Right? And here, what we really need to understand is the value of Z should reflect the amount of data that is really available from the risk, but it should not re re rely on or it should not be dependent on the actual data. Only I require the volume of data that is available from that risk, but not the actual data from the risk. So if at all I am really interested in coming out with an uh, uh, with a better estimate of Z, let's say uh, uh, if I am looking at an estimate of uh, any of uh, the claims or frequencies, let's say phi, it's as good as the Z will, will be typically a number which talks about phi minus mu, my x bar minus mu. Because x bar minus mu is the total space between your actual uh, uh, risk-based data and the industry-based data. So this will determine what is the proportion of Z that is coming out. The major problem here looks like how do I measure? What is the collateral? What is the kind of reliability I can have on the collateral? What is that I can take as the collateral identical or similar kind of a data to compute the credibility factor? That becomes a very important uh, factor and we are looking at two major mechanisms to address it. We use Bayesian credibility kind of an approach and empirical Bayesian credibility kind of an approach. These two approaches will help us in trying to address this to some extent. Right? So overall the credibility approach is nothing but the amount of trust that we are having on the risk-based data in terms of using that information for predicting the premiums or the frequency of the claims for the future. All right.